Ever want to learn just a little bit more about Japanese culture? Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. We're doing something really, really cool. We're gonna check out the world of traditional performing arts. It is a UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage Special Exhibition. So I've come to Ueno Station. You guys know I've been here plenty of times. The museum we are going to today is located outside of the JR Ueno Station's park exit. Whether you're short on time or you just wanna see a lot in one place, I always recommend coming to Ueno. There's Ueno Park, there's the shrine, there's the temple, but also, they have a national museum. Right now they have a really cool exhibition going on that we're gonna check out and I'm actually really excited for. We're gonna check out the world of traditional performing arts and I've seen so many of these kinds of things in anime, I'm not gonna lie, so I'm kind of excited to check it out. You get to go on the stage, you get to see the costumes, the really cool kimonos, the masks that they wear. Everything is all explained for you. It's even in English. I've never visited the National Museum at Ueno, so I'm really excited. We are checking out the Tokyo National Museum, which also happens to be the oldest and largest museum in Japan. The museum is made up of multiple buildings, each like a separate museum in itself. Shoot, I had a blast just walking around outside. This museum houses the largest collection of national treasures and important cultural items in the country. So let's go check it out. So today we're going to be checking out five of Japan's leading traditional performing arts. One of them you may have heard of, which is Kabuki. However, the others you may not be as familiar with, but they are equally as cool. There's Kabuki, Bunraku, No and Kogen, Gagaku, and Kumiodori. So lucky, today's like a press day, so there's like no people in here. We have the entire place to ourselves. And I could be a spaz and look at the mask for like two hours, uninterrupted. The museum had everything well organized and broken up into sections. I started off in the area for Kabuki. You get to see the stage and the really cool costumes, all of the kimonos, and learn just a little bit more about how everything works. got to be the most impressive kimonos I've ever seen in my life. So much detail, texture, and colors. These are actually women's kimonos, but all the actors are males. So cool. Bunraku is a form of traditional Japanese puppet theater. It originated in Osaka in the early Edo period. The puppeteers are dressed in all black to symbolize that they are invisible. Definitely my favorite mask out of all of them. This is actually a woman. She's been turned into an ogre from jealousy. This isn't a happy face. This was definitely my favorite section of the entire place. You can see the influences of Nogaku all over in anime and movies, not only just in Japan. This model looks better than my actual house. This is one 
one that I'm actually familiar with, which is so cool seeing it in person. This particular exhibition is only being held until March 13th. However, if you do miss it, you can still enjoy it on their virtual platform, which is super cool. Okay, so this is the Japan Cultural Expo virtual platform. This place is really cool. It's almost like a video game. I'm gonna be walking you guys through how to register and use the site. Registering is super simple. You're just gonna put in all of your information and preferences. And once you're done, you're gonna hit login and it's going to take you to the screen where you can select an avatar. Since my favorite color is yellow, of course, I picked the yellow one. You get to name your avatar. Mine was King Ramen, you already know. After that, it's gonna walk you through some basic information about the site. This virtual world has four main areas. Navigating this world is actually super simple. If you've ever played a video game, you'll be fine. Also, you can communicate with other users using all of these gestures. This virtual world gives you a behind the scenes exclusive look into the Japanese culture, which is also done in a very fun hands-on way. Okay, I met someone named Ah and I tried to communicate with them, but I think they were busy. The map in the top corner can transport you to different areas. So we're gonna go check out the Wood Art Theater. Once inside, you can see sections with lots of information. Over here, we can actually see the really cool exhibition on the world of traditional performing arts that you saw in this video. I'm going to click on the Bunraku exhibition that you guys saw. It takes me to a video where I can see even more. The sound is off, but if you really want to get a feel for this, definitely come check out this virtual platform. Next, I'm going to check out this exhibition called Macro Photo. Here you can see pictures of kimonos in high definition. You can even zoom in and see all of the details of the kimono perfectly. Next, I think I'll check out the Forest Village. Whenever you find something, you just walk right up to it in order to get more information. Is that a train? Is that a spaceman at the train station? Wow, I want to see that in person. I met my first friend, Ba, at the Water Museum. It was very exciting. Once inside the Water Museum, I found these really cool art galleries. You can just walk right up to any of the pieces and get more information. I found this one on fireworks to be very interesting. It led me to a video where I got to see a behind the scenes look at how they make the actual fireworks. Very cool. So if you can't be here, but you want to be here, this is a great option. With the world closing down and everything happening, it's a great way for people to still remain in touch and enjoy Japanese culture. I'm gonna have links and all the information down below in the description box. So, as I said, Weno has like so much stuff over here. This is where the temple is, the zoo, the duck boat pond, and a shrine. This is the path leading to the shrine. It's like a, a mini Fushimi Inari. It's so freaking cool. 